Uh, Neil, not the home start that Gary would have wanted. Uh, what do you make of it? Well, to be honest, with the first half, um, Leeds going forward is probably as good as I've seen Leeds. Um, you know, in the, in the three games I've seen them, I've seen you know the QPR game, I saw the Peterborough pre-season and, and Fleetwood. And I thought some some of the attacking momentum were fantastic. But obviously, there's the half wore on. Um, they lost away a little bit, um, and then second half it, it got a bit disjointed, and you know, and Leeds lost momentum, and it sort of played into Birmingham's hands as such. Gary Monk said after he said Leeds was soft today. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I think he's right. I think it had a soft touch to it. You know, they were they, they were too nice at times um, when the props needed to be more physical and more positive. You know, I mean, obviously Gary's got a handle on this. He knows what he needs to do, and he knows where he needs to strengthen. Um, but again, you know, as regards bringing players in, there's only what week ten days. You know, there's transfer deadline, so any work that, or any recruiting that needs doing needs to be done quick. Uh, and looking at the performance, too. Highly preventable goals, really, weren't they, from a Leeds perspective? Well, it were, and it, and it were all about um, dealing with the ball in the box for the second one. You know, it's, it's a ball that got cleared, half cleared, and then put back into an area where Leeds should be dealing with it. You know, you're looking at your two centre backs and your goalkeeper. Um, half a challenge, it drops loose to Morrison, and he, and, he, and he smashes it into the net. And you know, disappointing, really. And it came, but it came off the back of a, a, ta a tatty start to the second half. You know, Leeds were a little bit disjointed, never really got going. Um, so it must be frustrating for the players. Roof came on second half, he added uh, certainly effort and endeavour, didn't he? He didn't quite get the chances in front of goal. What do you make of him? No, I, I think he's perhaps a little bit unlucky not to start. You know, I, I think he's, uh, he's been impressive when I've seen him. Uh, I, I like the fact that he came on in, in the role that I think probably is his best position, you know, just off the front, um, you know, up alongside a striker. Antonson looked bright today, you know, and I thought them two sort of gelled, gelled quite well. And um, you know he, he made a big difference. As as well did Calvin Phillips. I think Calvin Phillips made a big difference in centre midfield when he came on. Five goals conceded in two games. That's a big issue, isn't it? Well, it's too many. You know what I mean? And Gary will know this. It's um, you know because the bottom line is if you can keep clean sheets and you, and you can get your noses in front, then you're going to win football matches. And obviously, you know, averaging over two a game is too many. Positives to take out of this one ahead of the game midweek? Yeah, I think there were plenty of positives first half. I thought the attacking momentum um, was really good. You know, I think Sacco looked dangerous on the right. Uh, I, thought, I thought Alex Moore were outstanding for an hour. You know, just his movement off the left and you know his, his link playing behind the front. Um, and, and, and I thought uh, Antonson led the line well. I thought he, you know he ran the channels and he looked dangerous and he hit the bar and could have had another goal. Um, so I think that I think there were there were lots of pluses, and I, and I think maybe you know sometimes you look past the pluses when you look at the disappointment of, of the result and and what happened at the end of the day. So I think Gary be looking to you know add a little bit more steel centrally, uh, a little bit more protection perhaps for the back four, you know, in, in central midfield areas, uh, but keeping that attacking momentum that Leeds showed first half.